what's going on guys it is your boy kx back here with another video man we're not missing a day we are not missing a day i'm super tired I haven't slept in about 34 hours but we are still going strong man uh we got this uh we're gonna do a reaction video today because i'm too tired to edit anything else uh, i think it's suitable because season one comes out tonight i don't think i'll be staying up for it uh assuming that it's gonna take a long download patch uh, but yeah they did a deep dive video on it i don't know if you've seen it uh, i think it reveals a lot of information about season one so we're gonna go ahead and react to it um if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like down below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new i know this content isn't the best content uh but go check out my other videos definitely some better videos out there and subscribe if you do want to see content from me um because i will be making some very very high quality uh content pretty soon here uh well because now i'm out of school so uh let's hop right into the video this week black ops cold war will invade warzone with season one storming onto consoles and pc players will get free content throughout the season including eight free maps across black ops cold war multiplayer so three for free to acquire weapons a new battle pass system and more Today, members of the Treyarch and Raven development teams provided a bit more insight into what's in store. For the full-length studio broadcast, check out Treyarch's YouTube channel. For the highlights, stay tuned, because right now, we're dropping into Rebirth Island with Raven's senior executive producer, Ryan Burnett, to learn more about Warzone's new map. When we thought of Hopefully, Rebirth Island, Warzone we wanted to look back smooth. into the Black Ops lore and really dig deep into where did the Nova 6 gas originate from? Players will experience uh, open area and open island uh, where they'll be able to roam around the map and in there, in the center of this island, is the actual bioweapons facility. Season 1 also marks the arrival of three new operators. Out of the gate, starting the week one, that. players will get to know Stitch. Discarded by the Soviets, he's a former bioweapons expert hellbent on revenge. With new play spaces and operators in the mix, you'll need some additional tools in the toolbox. Expect a huge addition to your Warzone armory, as a vast infusion of Cold War weaponry becomes available for you to use in your loadouts. Unless a weapon has a particular challenge needed to unlock it, dope. Black Ops Cold War primary and secondary weapons, including blueprint variants, will now be accessible in Warzone. Here's Treyarch's Tony Flame to share more about the two new weapons players can expect at launch, along with a brand new score streak. Let's start with the Crow's Assault Rifle. From Course a gameplay street. perspective, We're getting uh, it's a bullpup, which means it's going to be a little bit quicker on the draw. You're going to be able to ADS a little bit quicker. You'll be coming out to sprint a little bit faster. And it's a lot of fun. It's very unique visually. On the flip side, switch to the MAC-10, you've got a traditional Black Ops favorite that here. Iron Sight looks horrible. Incredible SMG. It's got the fastest fire rate of all the SMGs. It's kind of a bullet hose, okay. but it's a ton of fun to use. This is the score streak, the Harp, the high altitude recon plane. You call it in, and it's going to tell you where all the enemies are. It's going to show the direction they're facing. There's no counter for it because it's a high-level score streak, uh, other than to shoot it down. Things don't quite go your way in Warzone. Wait, isn't that already we'll in the game? For another go, but this time with two new Gulag experiences. Two the Rebirth Gulag Island is all about uh, the prisoners, right? So as you go down the hallways, the metal detectors go off, alert your enemy, let you know where you're at. So we're adding a little twist there to your 1v1. Oh, that's dope. Shifting gears okay, to Black Ops like Cold that. War multiplayer, the launch of Season 1 also ushers in the arrival of eight maps, mixing up a range of 6v6, 2v2, and fire team experiences. Here, okay, for the rundown, gotcha. is Treyarch's Matt Schrantz. We've got a new 6v6 map, The Pines, and an 80s mall. So we've got all the 80s mall fanfare. Raid is returning, plays really well in every game mode. The team has spent a lot of time that's focusing on nice. making sure that Raid plays like it played in Black Ops 2. We'll have Hopefully new bonds, it's actually under the Berlin Wall in an underground tunnel. We also have ICBM, which I believe is actually our smallest gunfight map. It's located in a launch facility. We've got KGB, which is located in a Soviet financial building. Uh, we've got yeah. Game Show, and this is just a, it's just a fun map. It is set on a, on a game show stage. Nuketown Holiday, we've got trees, we've got reefs, We've got snowmen. Looking ahead to some other things mid-season, looks like the team's got some plans for something called Sanatorium. Sanatorium is located in Russia. It's our biggest fire team map to date. We find that it lets you spread your wings a little bit further. With Newtown 84 now in the mix, Treyarch delivers on the nostalgia with a holiday-themed version of the Black Ops cult classic. It was just it was just a fun thing when we were stringing up the lights and kind of brainstorming what we could do is 
it felt very different, feels, feels really cool. The holiday spirit isn't just limited to Nuketown. Turns out that the undead get a whole lot undeader in D Machina, with Treyarch turning the map into more of a winter wasteland than a wonderland. This season, there's plenty of cheer to keep you in the Yuletide mood. Uh, we are adding a new limited time mode called Jingle Hells, uh, which is a re-theming of D Machina for the holidays. Players will now use snowballs scattered across the map to freeze zombies and drop presents. And inside those presents, you'll get all sorts of things, ranging from coal to ray guns. In addition to in-game intel and the introduction of the new Battle Pass weapons and customization content for zombies, the undead also get new play spaces for Onslaught on PlayStation. Throughout the seasons, as we add these multiplayer maps, they will be added to Onslaught as well. So you'll be oh, finding cool. new opportunities to earn I don't even know what Onslaught is, but I'll have to on check it out. Take on as many megatons as you can to earn rewards. Later this season, in addition to the Pines, we'll be adding Raid as well. Additionally, oh, okay. fans Ooh. can expect the new Cranked mode for the first time ever in Zombies, coming mid-season. Plus, much more to come for Zombies in Season 2. So you have a timer of 30 seconds that's ticking down. When you just zero, you die. Um, every time you kill a zombie, that timer resets. It's even more frantic in four-player when you're juggling between all these different zombies, trying to make sure everyone stays alive. When Season 1 launches, remember that the cross-progression system that links player progression prestige levels, and the battle pass between Black Ops Cold War and Warzone and, and, becomes available in Season 1. That's right. When Season 1 drops, cold. expect your season level to be synchronized based on your current season level in Black Ops Cold War. Your previous unlocks from Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare, such as weapons, perks, score streaks, and more, will remain unlocked. For all the details about Season 1 and what's in store, head to callofduty.com to learn more. That's actually pretty dope. I don't know, man. I think I think that's actually pretty dope. I mean, I hope they're just able to release it with no headaches and it's not like 70 gigabytes to download it. I mean, if it is, it is what it is, man. I'll just download it. But I would love if it wasn't 70 gigabytes and it doesn't take 50 minutes to download. You know, some reason the downloads for this game take longer than the actual game itself to install, bro. This game took 15 to 17 minutes to install for a 180 gigabyte game. And the updates take like 30 minutes, bro. I'm like, bro, what's going on? That's like throttling on there. All right, I'm rambling. Hope you enjoyed the video, man. Let me know down below what you're excited most uh, for in season one. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Perfect.